Yes, the van looks very comfortable today, doesn't it? Welcome. This is Devon. Oh, where are we now? I think this is... This is Thursday. So it's our first week away. We are on our now. This is our fourth day. Um, tonight we're not staying in a campsite. We're not uh, not rough camping. We're actually staying in a house. Um, we've parked our van just over there in the village hall car park, and we are staying with our friends in their beautiful house here in a place called Farringdon in Devon. Fifteen minutes from Exeter. And so tonight we have the luxury of a bed and uh, we're actually at the house all to ourselves. My friend, our friends, my wife's my friends, Janet and Dave, have gone off to Bristol for an award ceremony where they may win an award for um, their business, which is a company called Little Pod, which you should look up if you like vanilla. Great little company, lovely couple of friends. And they've basically given us the keys and said, well, we've got to go out. Here you go. Car's out there if you need it. And uh, that's it. So we'll see them hopefully on video tomorrow. Um, so we'll be sleeping inside today, which is nice. Obviously, part of the, the what we're doing is we're hoping to visit friends and family, um, not just in the UK, but hopefully in Europe as well. And that should give us some times when we're not in the van. Uh, which I think is good. It's nice. And that was kind of the idea of the van, I think. It gave us the freedom to um, travel wherever, whenever. But we could just park up and go to sleep. And then if you turn up at a friend's place and they've got room, they invite you in, you've got somewhere to stay, haven't you? And that, that's kind of nice as well. So um, at the moment, we're doing the easy part. So this is the second vlog since our full-time van life started. And um, when I say full time, I mean, I'll be honest with you, as soon as Malaysia opens its gates to travellers again, we will return home to Johor Bahru in Malaysia, which is where we've lived for uh, the last few years. And then what we'll do is probably put the van in storage if it's okay. And then hopefully six months in Malaysia, six months over here. So it'll be six months living in our place in Malaysia and then six months living in a van. But what we want to try to do is avoid the cold weather and the darkness in the UK, be in Malaysia then, and then come home for six months into Europe, the UK, maybe do a bit of UK when the summer is, the summer, when the summer is here, which is those odd few days in amongst all the misery, and um, hopefully disappear off into Europe and uh, soak up the sunshine for the rest of the year that's the plan so it's not a full-time van life but it should be hopefully six months of the year i'm sorry like the vlogging at the moment isn't the most exciting and it's never going to be let's be totally honest we're not young fit van lifers we're not climbing up top of ben nevis or or going through the wilds of scotland and skinny dipping in wherever we're 60 year old people who feel every inch of that every day of that age um my wife's just had a major couple of major surgeries and so she's on a long road to recovery and i'm just old and unfit so there you go however we will try to entertain you by taking you nice places showing you nice things and occasionally having a laugh um but i feel i've, I've lost the whole vlogging vibe at the moment, I've got to admit, when I was in Malaysia, it was fairly easy. Take go out with my friends Charlie or Leo and uh, meet up with other people and make vlogs and see new things and make vlogs. Um, in the van thing, it's new for us. Um, I can't just hop on a motorbike, I don't have a motorbike over here. We're stuck in a van. I'm finding it very quickly that uh, van lifers aren't really um, popular in the UK, even though it's like half a million people with vans in the UK. Car parks that aren't with height restrictors, our vans 2.7 metres high, 
most parking rides we've seen so far, 2.1 meters. What's the point of having a park and ride to keep us out of the city if we can't park in the park and ride to catch the bus? So, and then if they're not too high, we're going to have a height issue, we have a width issue. And uh, then you get inside some of these places and, you know, there's no longer parking spots for vans. Our van's seven metres long, you know. We have to park it somewhere. We went to the supermarket in Tottenham actually yesterday. I parked in a space, got out and went to go shopping. Then I realised that literally, I don't know, a good two metres of the, the van was sticking at the back of the space into the road. You, know, you can't do that. So what I had to do was get back in the van and just basically drive alongside other cars and just wait. So if anyone turned up, I could move the van. So yeah, people don't, they just, some councils don't seem to want the money and the, the visitors that van life would bring. Um, some places do, so also within Totnes, you can go to a car park, Long Marsh, you can park your van there, um, pay for what you take. So if you take two spaces, you pay for two spaces, but you can leave your van there. You can also overnight there for £10. So, you know, some people are realising that people who drive, I mean, people, people drive vans, people turn up in these vans, these vans are costing sixty thousand pounds upwards this is not a cheap hobby this is a ridiculous expensive hobby and yet they seem to sort of put the, the welcome mat out for you know everybody except these kind of people it's madness anyway i'm waffling um tomorrow we hope to introduce you to our friends and uh maybe i can get my wife to make an appearance in the video as well if not check out her channel the crafty nana um to uh, recently put up a half hour video which has kind of explained all that she's been through in the last few months and it's a lot i mean that woman is is tougher than than anybody i've ever met before i take you off to see the church i want to introduce you to our host this is janet sawyer mbe obe the future queen of england and, and captain of the good ship little pod say hello Hello, hello, Alan. Right, I'm going to go look at your church. Farringdon Church. It's not the Vegas church, not the grandest church, but it is in a beautiful, beautiful plot of land, isn't it? Very beautiful here. Yeah. There was another one built before that. Um, so, you can see the, some of the church stones. They're all weathered, so a lot of the words are hard to read on them. But the bit that's more interesting to me is this bit down here, because it's like the old gravestones have just been pushed to the wall at the end and then just limp against them like this. That's an old gravestone in there, look. And then further along here, Oh, these all old gravestones, all weathered and worn and forgotten. I think it's closed. Yeah, right, well we can't go in, it's closed, but never mind. Beautiful building. Hmm. And this is our friend's garden and their house, absolutely beautiful. Beautiful Devonshire countryside and a stunningly lovely sunny. See, where England in the sunshine is a whole different proposition for me. If England were like Malaysia and we had sunshine all year round, 